You've seen the film, haven't you, where there's a fight towards the end and one of the main characters who's a goody is fighting one of the main characters who's a baddie and they fight away at long distance for a while and then they get really close and then each puts his sword against the other and they sort of push, they sort of push against each other like this and, and, and the, 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 the goody will struggle for a bit and then the baddie pushing the other way, he'll say something gratuitously evil and provocative, uh, you know, ha ha, when I finish with you I shall marry the woman you love and, and have a, my wicked way with her, etc. And, and then he'll say something hysterical or possibly unexpected. Oh, I never really liked her anyway. She's got thick ankles. But the point is that there's a bit of dialogue between the characters and their heads are quite close together in frame, which is why filmmakers like that sort of thing, because, you know, it's an opportunity to get a bit of dialogue in, a bit of uh, raise the tension, raise the aggression, uh, make the audience hate the baddie for being really, really bad and, and, and be supportive of the good guy. Come on, get him, get him. And uh, the, the cameraman likes it because he, because he can get both faces really close to each other. And the soundman likes it because he can record both their dialogues at the same time. And oh, it's a filmmaking convention. Why would anybody do that in real life? It's an untenable situation. If I get so close to my opponent that I'm pressing against him like this, uh, and I'm pressing at a point, our two blades meet at a point about which these swords can pivot. Why would I just carry on pushing? What, what do I hope to achieve? Am I gonna push my way all the way through his sword and chop his head off? No, that's not gonna happen, is it? Um, am I just trying to push him back? Well. Well, possibly, but there are better ways uh, to achieve this. And, and why do I want to push him back? That's not what we're being shown in the film. Uh, it's as though this is a, a moment of struggle and that each man is putting great emphasis on the importance of pushing, as though this could achieve something. It's not going to achieve anything. Um, but I could, if only I had some sort of big lever on me. But it, well, I do, I have a sword. And th about this pivot point, I could just move it and I could just slice at him. This is not a tenable position. As soon as he pushes against me, well, I could just give, let his force go by, and then cut him. Or I could bounce back off him and thrust. I mean, there, I have so many options. Um, why would I put my force uselessly against his force when I can just let him use his excessive strength to carry himself passed and away for the target, or I could, even if I, even if I didn't do that, even if I'd actually stay directly on, I can be pushing through that point and pivoting on it as well and cutting him. It's not a tenable situation. No one's ever going to push that way for any length of time. Here's another reason you might not do it, because you might have a dagger on you. Yes, sometimes they show this in films, uh, but it's uh, usually shown as a dastardly thing to do, to go for your knife at this point. It's not dastardly, he's trying to kill you. So, you know, if you get really, really close, you can be pushing away and then you can just go and stab him in the face. So it's not a tenable situation. It's not a, a clever move to use in fighting. It's a movie convention. I understand why it's a movie convention, but I'd still quite like to see the end of it, thanks. <laughs>